Okay. So, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. And the police have already been to my house. And this is why. Because my mom is the biggest panicker. I mean, she's just, I don't know what's wrong with her. Anyway, so last night at like 8 o'clock, I'm online and I'm arguing with my ex. Not TJ, but my ex before him, Aiden's dad. And, you know, everyone has that guy who knows all the right buttons to push and just like upsets you in five seconds. So I'm arguing with him online about, you know, stuff that happened two years ago. And my stepdad calls. And he's all, what's your favorite 48th law of power? And I'm like, what the hell? I don't know. I'm upset. He can hear it in my voice. And I just can't think about the random things that my parents call about all the time. So now I'm thinking probably despise the free lunch, right? But then I couldn't think. Anyway, so I was like, I'll call you back. So after talking to him, my finishing my conversation with my ex, I went and laid down, read some lame romance novel, and fell asleep. Well... At some point in the night, my phone, my sidekick died, which normally, as you guys know, I'm like always continuously logging into Yahoo. Thanks, Megan, because you send me messages all the time while I'm asleep. Anyway, so my sidekick dies, and my phone is like in the blankets with me somewhere, so I don't hear it ring. So this morning, I feel it vibrate against my leg, and I pick it up, and I'm like, hi, Mom, and she's like, oh, my God, Erica, where have you been, blah, 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 and I'm like, Good morning, right? And she's like, well, don't panic, but the police are on the way to your house. And I'm like, for what? I already know what for because I know my mom. Because she's like, you know, man, general manager of Hardee's. And so she's always like doing welfare checks on people when they don't come to work. So people are scared like not to come to work for her because she always sends police to their house. So anyway, so um, I'm telling her I'm okay, blah, blah, blah. So I start calling all the people that she's called, like my sister, my brother, blah, 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 to tell them that I'm alive. Well, I see the police outside my house. So, I go downstairs and I open the door and I'm like, hi, I'm alive. <laughs> and they're like instantly pissed, right? Because at this point, it's two police officers and they're walking around my truck and they're like looking for like debris, blood, you know, glass or whatever. And I just like open the door all, hi, good morning. <laughs> so, they're like... Why didn't your mom call us back? And I was like, oh, well, I just got the phone. They're like, I hung up to come down here to talk to you guys, right? So they still want to come in and look around my dirty ass house because they think that some guy has got me in here or something. Like, they just, it's, they're just like, why would she call us? And I'm like, oh, I'm not much pregnant. She lives an hour and a half away and she's a weirdo, you know. So I'm like trying to explain away my mom's actions, which is almost impossible to do. So anyway. So they come in, look around, leave, and um, I have to let them in my disgustingly dirty house because I basically just Saturdays, you know, just, well, let me just show you. Look, this is my, this is, this is Saturday. Oh, look at that, you know, oh, I had Chick-fil-A and, and what's that? That's a Pepsi bottle. Oh, crap, my, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Oh, and all this shit is still there. All of my presents are still all there. So, yeah. So, you know, of course, it's 10 o'clock on Sunday, so I'm not up. I don't have kids yet. So, that is my story. Mom, I'm going to make you watch this because, mother. Anyway, ladies, so, as usual, I had to share my what seems to be an interesting life, but, you know, in between all these times, I'm really just sitting here staring at walls. So, all right, love, love.